Abbeville resident Bob Addison is even more convinced. He believes that the introduction of Russian boars has transformed the local wild pig population. And he says the animal that killed his dogs was definitely Russian. Oh yes, I believe he was, uh, he was as, as uh, pure blood that, 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 that we have had in this country. Bob even thinks he knows who's responsible for introducing them. A fella that in that area had went to uh, Europe and bought some Russian boars and brought in and, and turned loose in that area. And I'm, I'm pretty sure this must have been one of the purebred boars. There seem to be pigs bred with Russian boars in Abbeville. And Jack Mayer confirms that Eurasian boars have definitely made a home on American soil. One of the things we've seen recently in the wild pig populations here in the United States is a, is a larger influx of animals with either partial or full Eurasian wild boar characteristics. This is something that wouldn't cause an increase in the size of these animals, but it would cause an increase in the, the wildness of these animals. These are animals that would run further, run harder, and fight more when they're cornered. This is gonna be a big difference from what we've seen in the past with wild pigs here in the U.S. If the DNA of Russian boars is in the gene pool of wild pigs, then what are the consequences? How big and fierce could these pigs become? And how terrifying would they be? The biggest pigs ever recorded were Ton Pig, who lived in China, and an equally gargantuan South Korean that weighed in at 2,000 pounds. For years, one of the world's biggest pigs made its home in upstate New York. We got Big Norm here. He's 1,600 pounds and eight feet long. Mmm, chocolate ice cream. And as far as we know, he's the largest living pig in the entire world. Three times the size of a normal pig, Big Norm was a reminder of what could happen if pigs continue to grow out of control. He eats about 20 pounds a day, and then he has water besides. He's never had any sort of special growth hormones or steroids to make him grow big. Apparently, it's just a freak of nature because he was acquired with um, litter mates. They grew normally. He went crazy. We try to do everything to keep him happy. And he's not only the largest pig in the world, but he's also the most pampered pig. There, now are you comfy? Big Norm died on September 13, 2008, from what appeared to be a heart attack. He wasn't the first oversized pig, and he won't be the last.